Then he, he takes us into this beautiful, beautiful section on prayer. You could read very carefully and slowly verse 17 through 27, all of the different things to cry unto God over. It's a pretty inclusive list. And then look at verse 31. Yea, I would that ye would come forth and harden not your hearts any longer. For behold, now is the time and the day of your salvation. And therefore, if ye will repent and harden not your hearts, immediately shall the great plan of redemption be brought about unto you. You could mark the word immediately there because that's very rare. Rarely do we get prophets giving instantaneous or immediate promises. This is one of the few that you're going to find where if we don't harden our hearts, immediately as we come to Christ, we're going to experience the plan of salvation, plan of redemption being brought about unto us. And then he gives that famous verse 32, for behold, this life is the time for men to prepare to meet God. For behold, the day of this life is the day for men to perform their labors. Uh, jump down to 34. You cannot say when you're brought to that awful crisis, that I will repent, that I will return to my God. Nay, ye cannot say this, for that same spirit which doth possess your bodies at the time that ye go out of this life, that same spirit will have power to possess your bodies in that eternal world. I don't know what exactly Amulek implied for all of the eternities down the road. I, I don't know. But I know that his invitation to those Zormites on that day and to me and you today is, don't say, oh, these are good concepts. I'm going to worry about them tomorrow or next week. There's a sense of urgency attached to learning the gospel of Jesus Christ that when you, when you know it, happy are you if you do it, if you act in faith. Often God gives you the assurance, and if you don't act when you have that assurance, the assurance doesn't last, and then your ability to act gets harder and harder and harder as time progresses and you, and you lag and delay in your obedience. Let me finish with verse 40. And now, my beloved brethren, I would exhort you to have patience, and that ye bear with all manner of afflictions, that ye do not revile against those who do cast you out because of your exceeding poverty, lest ye become sinners like unto them, but that ye have patience and bear with those afflictions with a firm hope that ye shall one day rest from all – what percentage? All your afflictions. This life is the time for men to prepare to meet God. This life is the test. It's not like you're going to be tested for all of eternity. Uh, so we bear with patience the afflictions that we have here. 